this is the real driver and owner of the Kia EV9 review and I am not an auto journalist and not from any car magazines so this will be a no holds barred review without any commercial restrictions so I'll tell you what's good and bad about the car uh, it's about two weeks I own this car this is the uh, GT line trim and uh, Singapore version uh, very likely this trim and specifications uh, will be the same for the region uh, particularly for Malaysia Thailand Indonesia Hong Kong and even maybe Taiwan as well so some specs are missing uh, from the US version or the Europe version I'll let you know uh, what are the differences later so right now we have a look at the exterior this is the uh, Pantera metal color which is uh, kind of dark gray but as you can see when the car is indoor uh, the shade will be lighter but once it is under the sun uh, the shade will get darker I think the color is uh, very nice uh, on this car for this Pantera metal color so let's uh, go one round Okay, this is the back. And this is the side again. Okay, the GT line comes with the uh, 21 inch rim. Uh, tire is Continental. Let's see. Premium Contact C. Premium Contact C. Not sure if this is the uh, the better version or the Premium Contact 7 which I believe is in the market and it is also EV ready So this is the thread and this is the front grille lighting pattern Okay, sadly to say for the Singapore trim, we only have one pattern available. We cannot choose or we cannot download or even select any other patterns. It is not available for the Singapore market. Okay, now we are going in to the car. I'll show you the interior color. I chose the navy blue trim for the interior color because uh, the GT line comes in three colors for the interior. You either get the black and white, uh, which I find very difficult to maintain, especially the white color is here and the white color is here on the top part as well. And the second color available will be the brown but for the brown it will make the whole car brown uh, it's not even the seat the seat is brown and uh, the dashboard is brown and even the door all all your doors will be in brown color all the way until the rear yep all those uh back plastic will be in brown color as well so i think the best choice uh, for the gt line for the interior color i think the navy blue looks very nice it's easy to maintain everything is in dark color uh, just a little bit of brown uh, no sorry just a little bit of blue along the dashboard and a little bit of blue on the steering that's it and some blue here while the rest are in dark grey or black it looks very good let's have a look on the second row seat this is the relaxation package uh, 
uh, we get electric chairs for the second row. Uh, you can't swivel, but you get blowers just as for the front. Aircon heat, uh, the seat blower and the seat warmer here, and you get the electric function. Uh, I suggest you get the relaxation package uh, instead of the swivel chair because uh, I think it's pointless and not practical to swivel the chair around and then uh, there's no space for adults to be sitting on the second and the third row uh, to be facing each other but if you are sitting like that uh, there will be no issue with space uh, you can just bring the seat forward my driver's seat is uh, already adjusted I'm 178 have a look on my seat. <sighs> Alright, I still have a lot of space here, about a knuckle. So I try the third row seat. You can easily move to the rear from the center. Alright, now I'm sitting at the back on the third row seat. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, just about there. We can slide slightly forward because I have about a knuckle space. If I slide forward, I will have about half a knuckle space here. So no issue on uh, sitting on the third row for adults for long journeys as well. You have your seat recliner, USB charger, speaker, cup holders, your individual vent, and lighting here as well okay now I'm back to the second row seat uh, for the second row you have two cup holders here and another one on the door you have USB-C chargers your compartments and the center compartment as well you can pull out the tray you open it up and you have a deep space inside to store all your water bottles. And you have your AC climate control. There you have it. Individual vents. And your hook, light as well as your blinds okay yep. you have your blinds here as well I can sit very comfortably here I have very deep uh, space for my feet and also a knuckle space Now as we move to the driver's seat, uh, this version it comes with the digital side mirror. Uh, not everybody will love this because some will say they are not used to it. But for me personally, after driving it for a few days, yeah, I got used to it. So it's very easy for parking and also to look out for traffic on both sides. the plus minus pedals your lower compartment well the original ones will be one compartment itself uh, I have added a third party tray uh, to get it more organized and then this is the center console can open up push up for additional cup holder space fingerprint detector you have your auto hold heel assist your parking assist and your parking sensors this is your wireless phone charger and for this you can open up to have some more space inside your steering wheel
driving modes here, terrain, all your controls are here, you have your pedal shifters, and your wiper, and your light stops. Okay, so good job Kia for giving us many physical buttons, because uh, during driving, all these buttons uh, can be easily accessed, and without us getting distracted while on the road. So thank you for keeping it simple, uh, safe and safe for us. This is uh, tactile touches. You have to press slightly harder, not touch. Press slightly harder, you can feel the tactile touch and you can manipulate the screen. I'll let you know what are the differences between the uh, Singapore trim compared to the US and the Europe trim. So first off, we don't have the annoying driver alertness sensor. All right, So it doesn't beep on you on the road whenever you take your eyes off the road. And secondly, you also don't have the annoying speed limit, the road speed limit uh, warnings and cautions. So it doesn't beep on you on, uh, on that as well. It's very silent when you are driving. They have removed quite a number of functions from the main infotainment. Okay, first off, you do not have your built-in map. All right. Whenever you need to use the map function, you need to have your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto connected. And when you press on it, then only it will go to your map and your Spotify here. All right. So the car itself doesn't have built-in map. And because it doesn't have its built-in map, so the EV functions on this page, it's also a bit limited. You can't plan your journey, uh, where to charge, and for how long you should drive, and which station you should drive. So all these you have to depend on third-party apps on your phone. And you have to plan beforehand, before you start your journey. right? So that's the drawback for not having the map, the built-in map. And secondly, for the Singapore trim as well, they have removed the voice memo function. All right, you don't have your voice memo as well as here, where you should have a button or two to talk to the rear passenger. So these buttons are missing. You don't have the SOS button, I believe. There should be one SOS button here as well. Okay, other than that, uh, all the rest should be the same as uh, the other countries. You have your head-up display here. Uh, not sure if you can see it. Yeah, there it is. The head-up display is there. Alright, that's it for the interior review. Okay, now we are at the boot section. I have disabled the uh, auto approach and uh, auto tailgate open when you have the key. Uh, because I find that quite dangerous that sometimes when you are just walking behind your car but you have no intention for the boot to open. So I have disabled this function and I will just uh, press the button here to open. Alright, electric tailgate, you can manually adjust the height and this is with the third row deployed and what do we have here? We have a 3 pin plug and you have all the electric controls for your second and the third row seat. So for folding and unfolding, you just need to press these buttons. Back here, you have your 12 volt socket, emergency boot release button, and let's see what do we have here underneath. Okay, you have your tire repair kit, and 
I think that's about it. They even removed this uh, top wrench, I believe. This is a top wrench, not provided. And there's something here, it is missing as well. So we then don't get this. I don't know what it is. Good thing is, they give you a metal plate here, metal scarf plate, so it doesn't scratch the plastic easily. But I do recommend that uh, you do PPF uh, on this part as well because uh, I've seen the demo car they have a lot of scratches here right? so it's good to put some PPF to protect it and finally we are back to the front of the car and from my experience of driving and owning this car for two weeks I can say the experience was amazing the drive is very lovely quiet and comfortable and it has a lot of power as well but the only thing that I wish that the car would come with will be this uh, digital grill I think that it comes with all the other patterns right we paid for the GT line trim and uh, we should get to choose all these patterns so if we don't get to choose, all these LEDs uh, will not be used and it will be a waste, right? And uh, so Kia Singapore and Saga and Carriage, if you are watching this video review, please, please give us the full pattern. It's just a simple software update and uh, you can enable the digital, digital grill lighting pattern selection from the software.